Susano, Samantha, Vanessa, Rakuni, Leo. What do they all got in common? They all got passive. So in today's video, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna see how many units we can bring in with passive abilities. Let's go ahead and jump right in. What's going on, everybody? Childish, we're back at it again, coming at you with another guild war battle. We got Epifel Kappa versus T1G, aka that one guild. I'm looking to get three wins with this unique challenge here. So, uh, we're gonna start out with the bottom ones because that's all we got for the green bars here, which is probably a good idea given the fact that I have not uh, done this one in a little bit here. So, uh, this is what I used last time. Actually, you guys are probably probably saw the video here because I'm recording these um, a little bit ahead of time. We're gonna, we're gonna try this yet again, okay? So, we're going to use Samantha, we're going to use Theo, and then we're going to go ahead and bring in Helena. All units have passives. Uh, mind you, we're just trying to get as many as we can. Now, my thought process is uh, we get the... We, we, we basically soak a hit on the Molong, right? Helena tanks it out. I think Theo has a little bit more um, a little bit more speed than uh, my Samantha. My Samantha, I'm, I apologize. I, it's, not, it's not really good runes here, but it is what it is, okay? Just put the defense break on it, and then we get the double reset... On top of the kill on print that's that's the game plan i don't know if it's going to work like that but we're going to try it okay now down below we need we possibly need some kind of immunity right something that we could deal with here well first off we got to go to something right so sorry passive it's too op given the fact of what we're trying to do here some kind of immunity would be nice but we don't uh, you know what i don't think we mess around with immunity today i think we go ahead and run the raccoonie so we can take care of any kind of stuns or any kind of uh, provokes and whatnot. And then we bring in one more uh, damage dealing unit that can get the job done. And what better way to do it than to bring in Mr. Garrow, right? They do not got any kind of uh, uh, multi-hits in here, so we should be pretty good. We're going to run the speed scaling to give uh, to Sarian a little bit of DPS and Rakuni just make him cycle his skills a little bit faster, right? I really don't know if this is going to work, but we're definitely going to try it out here. Okay, so Theo... Oh, Perna's supposed to go. Perna, please go right now. Thank you. Okay, okay. Wait, no, no, no. You can stop now. I just said one time. What's going on here? Defense break? But again, we can't do we can't do the uh, reset on Triana, right? Because of course she puts up her immunity, right? So do we even go for the reset? Because he's gonna get a turn. I don't think this uh I don't think it's gonna do any justice, right? So let's let's go ahead and wait it out. Put the glancing on it, maybe? Nope. The multi-hit from the first skill might have been able to trigger it, but uh, it wasn't enough, right? Maybe we should have uh, maybe we should have done it, right? So let's go ahead. I guess we should tap her um, just to proc the uh, skill, right? We'll proc the passive. We'll just get it out the way and we'll deal with it. As long as you don't clear it, um, we should be pretty good. Now, here's the deal. I think, I think if we wait, right? If we wait, oh, wait. I think Molong is going to do his uh, stun. Please do not stun Samantha. I think the second skill will reset before, before Perna does his thing, right? Let's go ahead and do this. Come on now. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Come on. Resistance, anyways. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so much for that. So much for that testing on that. At least we saved our defense break, though. So we should be pretty good. Helena, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Helena's gonna die in the next go. I believe Molong has his reckless assault back up again, so we might as well get a little bit of attack bar reduction. Cycle through, stun Perna, and get an additional turn. Oh, bye, Helena. Oh no, she's not gone. Okay, let's get this one down. Helena. Okay, we need we need to proc. Oh man, rip the dream. Yeah, Helena can't tank that one. Come on now. Which funny enough, I don't think this is uh I don't think this is not a fail right now. As long Molong. Molong, no 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 no, you're going for the wrong wrong unit. Wrong unit. Nice stun, bro. <laughs> nice stun, bro. Wait a second, wait a second, hold on. We need it. We need to do this. This is it. Oh yeah. Hold on. I don't think I don't think we can do this, right? I don't think we can do this. Can we here? So this is what I'm gonna do, right? This is what I'm gonna do. I, I hit. She's not gonna heal, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Triana, get her a little low, because oh I, oh my gosh, oh my god, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Oh my god, I should have I should have just focused it. You gotta be kidding me, man. All right, what do we do? Do we just keep on working on this one? I feel like I should have done the second skill. Yeah, come on, kill. <laughs> Triana proc through all the nonsense. All right. Okay. Okay. Bad idea, but we'll, we'll get some redemption here. So, uh, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's go put the defense break in for my man here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Gear. Oh, wow. Vine proc? You want to give me the vine proc? Let's go. No, don't land the provoke. You got to be kidding me, man. Why do we? Oh, of course. That makes sense. Maybe we should have just put it on John, right? That would have, that would have been smart. Like we would have dealt with the stuns, but it's whatever. 
Okay, so let's put this back up here on Jingzhe. I do not want him uh, counterattacking me all over the place. It's in, but we need we need Rakuni to violent proc uh, like like no other here. Actually, you know what though? I'm I'm still gonna go for it. Girl's about to follow right here. Second skill for the KO. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go ahead and bring in. Yeah, let's let's do this right now. Let's just actually, you know what? That's a fail. Should have done it on Rakuni, but that's okay. I knew I was gonna get a violent proc and just cycle it even more. It's whatever. Let's work down this Jean if we can. Again, the most toxic Go War defense out there with this uh, <laughs> with this uh, Harmonia Jean comp. It's whatever. Uh, we'll deal with it, right? We'll deal with it. I don't think uh, e even if they get super lucky with you know a couple of Vine Parks, I can't I can't imagine them coming back from this, right? As long as we don't get Violent Park to no end. Come on, Rakuni. Rakuni, you're, you're not you're not doing what you need to do right now. You need to speed it up. You need to Violent Proc. You need to make it happen, okay? Uh, Garo getting stunned all over the place, but it's pretty standard. Yeah, John, that's what John does. That's what John does here. Now, uh, I did want to throw something out there. I got a lot of comments in the chat wondering why am I still on the Violent Revenge for John. I still uh, I still enjoy the aspect of counterattacking when the uh, two turn provoke is in full effect here. So again, obviously it's only 50%, 15%, but uh, uh, I will take any kind of RNG that I can come, especially with the fact that most people that I go up against are just, you know, well, you know, better ruined than I am. So come on, take out this Harmonia one time. Let's go. Gero doing work now. Uh, I think now we can go ahead and auto it out. Even if you want to put up this little... Uh, what's it called? This little two-turn provoker. I think we're gonna have it here. Fifty-five percent resistance leader skill is not gonna save you, Sean. Bye, bye. See ya. Take care. For the second one, we got a speed scaling team here with the Sylvia, and then of course we got Carol. Let's go ahead and trump that with Leo. Oh wait, that's not Leo. This one's Leo. Okay. We'll bring in a little bit of attack bar boost on the positive and negative side by means of very Hill. And we'll also use Virad, okay? So I know Virad does not have a passive, but again, just for the sake of this one, we already got two out of three passes, and then we'll just go ahead and take it here. We'll run the HP lead so that Verde Hill may be able to actually stay alive here. But like I said, if they don't have any kind of will, we might be able to uh, get the jump on them, but we reduce the attack bar on Sylvia there and control uh, Gero. That's what I'm hoping to do here. So, okay. So everybody your hands together start praying right now because this is gonna get a little rough right this is gonna get a little rough here molong third skill at least he's, at least i'm not gonna get stunned by uh, molong or perna right just stay alive just stay alive perna don't go for him all oh, perna all oh, perna perna didn't even get a chance <laughs> didn't even get a chance didn't even get a chance this is what you call an epic fail. You don't even want to try because you just know that it's not going to go anywhere, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into this one, right? Let's go ahead and reduce this one if we can. Uh, we did reduce it, I think, but we did not... Uh, yeah. No, 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 we're good, we're good. We got the freeze on here, so let's go ahead and use the second skill because it is a multi-hit now, right? We'll keep on reducing this attack bar, and those two units are freeze. Again, keep on uh, gaining as much as we can. I'm liking this very... Oh, yeah, Violet Proc. There you go. Oh, we can't hit him, though. We can't hit him, though. So let's go ahead and hit this here. Okay, next skill. Next skill we do it? No, we don't need to do it right now. Okay. Verde Hill, take it out. Next skill. Come on, now. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Verde Hill's so OP. Oh, my God. I brought. I can't believe I brought a Verde Hill into uh, a Guild War offense fight. That's, I ain't gonna lie. I don't remember. I do not remember the last time I used Verde Hill. And for those of you guys that are really, really new to the game, like, this was actually a fun unit that people played around with. People, I think they were running, like, a Veramos Vertihill Bella. And that was, like, that used to be, that used to be, like, the Guild War defense, you know, back in the day. That's, like, 2014, 2015. Maybe that was 2015. I don't even know. But everybody had a blast with it. And, uh, I mean, if you just slapped on, you know, some pretty strong runes, maybe threw a, a couple of revenge sets on it, super fast and tanky, people fell for it. And uh, it was actually pretty challenging to deal with but now, of course, we have the coppers, we have the bulldozers, so none of that's going to work. That's, that's just kind of how it goes down, right? You've got so many different compositions that used to be strong, but now free-to-play free to play teams out there can, you know, basically one-shot it within a matter of a couple of turns or so. Will the end fair bear come around? I don't think he will. Um, again, there was... <laughs> I, 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 I didn't really know what to expect from that one here, but we'll take it here. We'll take it. These days, I'm going to find a guild defense without a Sean. I tell you what, it's just too OP right now, okay? Either way, though, we're going to go for it here. Last round. 
I'm thinking Kamun, I'm thinking Orion, and then we bring in that Susano that I was talking about earlier with like missing runes, right? We'll bring him in. We'll take the speed lead to try to uh, snipe. Well, I don't know. I don't even know if we go for. Do we go for Theo? Do we just try to wreck him there? Um, try to use the multi hits from Kamun to trigger the passive? I don't even know right now. But we're going to try to make it work here some way, shape, or form, right? And then down below, one of the strongest <laughs> passive teams I've seen thus far here. We're going to bring in. We're going to bring back Rakuni. We're going to bring back in Gemini. And then we're going R5 status here. We're going to go into our monster box and bring out our Hua. Now, this is actually. My R5 Hua that I've been using uh, for a very long time here. Her runes are pretty decent. Um, we're not going to have a ton of speed here. So more than likely they're going to get the first turn. But if we get lucky enough to get the defense break. Combine that with the speed lead. Both skills scaling off speed. Uh, we should be able to do really well. We, But basically we cannot win unless we get some double hits. We need some double hits to win. So the question remains. Do we go for Iris? Uh, or do we go for uh, Jing Zhe uh, to save off for the stones? I mean, it's it's either way we look at it, it's not going to go too well here. But we're we're definitely going to give it a go. Uh, what do we do? Do we do we try to tap uh, Little Miss Triana here? I'm going to try to reduce the attack bar here while I can. Right? Not too bad of damage, mind you. But uh, still need to be careful here. Don't put that defense break on. Hey, what happened to that 50% resistance passive that we got going on here? It's not working as it's supposed to be intended, right? Oh my gosh, this is. This is not doing what it's supposed to do. Come on, Orion. There you go, Orion. Oh, wait a second. That's silly. <laughs> That's silly. That's silly. Uh, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. Resistance lead. Resistance lead. Gosh. Come on already. Critical reduction, but we cannot We cannot do anything about it. You know what, though? I sh Maybe I should have gone for that. I'm, gonna try to, I'm just going to try to proc it here. Get that Triana going. Oh, it wasn't enough. I cannot believe it here. Please, Theo, go for somebody else. Seriously. Oh, my gosh. All right. You know what? Not even going to try to <laughs> take this one out. Not with a John, okay? We need to bring, bring it around a way to bring in more DPS here. Okay, so here's the deal. First turn, didn't get ourselves the thing. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Can we send this one? Okay, and then we do this. We do this for the defense break, right? We do it for the defense break. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. No way. What do we do here? Do we reduce the attack bars? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go dots. Let's put the dots on right now. Didn't get a double hit, but we did re reduce the attack bar. Get a defense break. Rakuni, I would gladly like a proc right now. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't like this. I don't. Oh, the counter attack was gonna come in, but we actually got the stun. Okay, okay. So I think I'm gonna go Jingzei because I don't want to get stunned right now. Uh, Gemini is a little low. So we definitely don't want to uh, risk that, right? Okay. Um, just going to try to... I think I'm just going to try to stun this guy if I can. Okay, defense break. Please. Yes. Get it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Iris is gone. All right, all right. We're feeling pretty good. We're feeling pretty good. Intensity has gone up just the tad. Confidence level is feeling high. I think I can do this. We're getting a double hit from their Hua, I, I think. I'm feeling really good. Oh, man. Feels good, man. Feels good. After all the fails in this video, we finally busted out a comp to take on <laughs> one of the stronger passive based teams that we found thus far. But either way, guys, that's going to be it there. Epic Fell Kappa versus T1G. Again, thank you as always uh, for your support. If you appreciate this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys all in the next epic fail of a video. Take care.